Hi, I'm Derek and welcome back to the Power Republic YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a service on the Delorto carburetor for the Vortex Mini Rock engine. Some of the tools we're using here today, a Phillips head screwdriver, a big flat blade screwdriver, two smaller flat blade screwdrivers, side cutters, pointy nose pliers, can of carby cleaner, trusty old safety glasses and um, some verniers for measuring the float height and changing that. Okay, so the carburetor comes uh, like this or with the air box adapter already screwed onto it. And uh, what I would do normally is uh, just put a drop of Loctite and that'll keep that on. But for now it's off, so we'll start there. This carburetor here is not so dirty, but uh, we're just going to use a little bit of uh, solvent and or carburetor cleaner to wash off, loosen any dirt off the outside and then blow it off with some compressed air. Make sure you're wearing your safety equipment, of course, when you're using solvents and uh, also too when you're using compressed air. The first uh, part of the operation is to remove, well this is how I do it anyway, grab your Phillips head screwdriver and remove the two screws on the top of the carburetor. Now this little guy in here is spring loaded and it will pop out. So just hold it down with your fingers like, like that. Use your screwdriver. There's a little gasket there. I'm going to put a new one in. Lay those parts out here as you go. Keep it all neat so you remember which way it goes back. Um, slide out the throttle slide. Careful the needle will just pop down like that, okay? And you can lose it or whatever. So you can hold it like that if you're gentle. But careful because they bend easy, okay? You don't want to bend that little guy. Or if it's really dirty, it can get stuck inside the needle joint inside the cover. Right? Okay, the next step is to uh, take out these four Phillips head screws. Remove the float bowl. There's actually a bit of uh, contamination in there. Careful the little screws will fall out if you let them, so just pull them out. Get your carburetor cleaner. Make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. Spray a little bit in there, not too, don't go too crazy because it's under pressure. Right, just tip that out over there. Okay, there's a little couple of little bits of dirt. Get a nice clean rag. Give it a bit of a rub out. And then last but not least, the compressed air if you've got it. Just give it a little blow. Right, that part is now clean. Oh, one little tiny bit. Okay, and then just, that part's ready to go back together now because it's all clean, ready to go. So now under the carburetor, you can remove this little this little gasket. If it's in good condition, leave it on because they do rip when you pull them off. Sometimes, that time it's not too bad. Okay, so you want to get your flat blade, big flat blade screwdriver. Remove the main jet. Needle nose pliers, grab the main jet, carburetor cleaner, give it a little blow out, compressed air. Right now that part's ready to go back on. Okay, now this is a, uh, a little bit of a smaller screwdriver. Uh, this is a 100mm by 4mm flat blade and it takes out this little idle jet just perfect. Grab your pointy nose pliers again. Grab that little guy out. Okay, and hold it with the... Pointy nose pliers, blow it out with the compressed air. Okay, now that part's ready to go back together. Next, we take the choke jet out. 
use the big one again. So you've got to marry the size of the or the tip of the screwdriver to the job you're doing. You don't want to use this tiny little guy on this massive jet because it's going to flop around in that slot and that's how you chew out those uh, jet slots or the screwdriver slot in the jet. Same thing, pointy nose, carburetor cleaner. Careful because the carburetor cleaner you can see will spray out of these holes and if you're looking at it like this, it's going to spray you in the face. Not good. Alright, now that jet's ready to go back out. Okay, so last but not least, um, we need to measure the, the float height. Uh, the easiest way I found is with this pair of digital verniers. You can pick these up pretty cheap, around 100 bucks. Now, you want to be able to measure, this is kind of important, down from the, take the main jet out, so the, the tube there, the jet tube, and measure down, and this is 6.15. Okay, we'll come to the other side. Uh, 6.3. Okay? And to remove this pin, you just sort of uh, flick your finger onto the carburetor here and it knocks the pin out. Just like that. Okay? Grab your pin. Take that, it doesn't require any cleaning. Uh, as you pull the floats out, the needle actually comes out with the floats. Okay, there's a, a little a little guy here, a little return in the sheet metal pressing and the, the needle just sits there like that. Now if you tip it, it's gonna fall. So if you're doing that over the dirt, it's gonna fall on the dirt. If you're at the track, that's no good. All right, I put them over there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to blow this carburetor out with some carbon cleaner and the compressed air. Carbon cleaner. Make sure your safety glasses are on. All the little tiny holes. Get a little bit of a blowout like that. And then your compressed air. You can do all this sort of stuff without the air. It just takes a little longer for the carburetor cleaner to dry out. Okay, so now it's time to put the carburetor back together. We've got a new uh, carburetor kit here, which has got some some gaskets for the top of the slide. Uh, this one here is important. This one here, the little O-ring as well. I'll show you how to change that. We'll do that one first, actually. So we get the flat blade screwdriver, the um, 100 by four millimeter again. Let's give it a little wipe there. And there's a little gold air bleed screw here. So just screw it in, which is uh, sort of clockwise. Half, this one wasn't at three quarters, okay? It was just a little bit over half. So that's where we're gonna put it back after we change the O-ring. Uh, a little scriber or a pick, and you can just pick out the little washer. And then the O-ring will come out, okay? So we're gonna change that as well. Okay, so just bust open your your spares packets here. Tip them onto your nice clean rag so you can see what you're doing. Okay, we're going to change the needle as well. All right. So first of all, put the spring onto the needle. Then put the washer. Then comes the O-ring. Yeah, fresh iron. So now it's ready to go. So it's brand new part ready for assembly. So just stick that down in there. Now remember that this has to be set to three quarters because that's what it was set before. So we want to put it back the same way we found it. Alright, so the, the technique is to screw it all the way in, then come back half a turn. And that's where this one was. If it was at one turn, you do that. If it was one and a half, you do that. So half, one, one and a half and a, and a quarter, well not quite a quarter. Okay, next up we're going to install the new needle. So this is how I do it. Put the needle onto the little float guy there. Spin the carburetor around so it's around the right way. Slide it down in the hole. 
hold it with your finger and then get the pin it goes in both ways and just slide the pin back through there okay that's that done now we want to check make sure our height's the same so 6.3 6.15 we're going to just set this guy here 6.6 6, which is pretty rich 6.35 so we found these can run from say five millimeters all the way up to 6.5 millimeters the easiest way to bend them is with a, a pair, pair of pliers that I found if you can think of something better um, leave a comment down below and let us know and we can all learn together so just hold the other other float with your left hand and just, just tweak that up a little bit you don't need to go far hold that one with your left hand tweak that one up sort of eyeball it and say oh yeah that's pretty close get your verniers and measure down six millimeters six point one millimeters if it's within point one of a millimeter that's neither here nor there okay so next up install the clean jets so start with the this little guy and this little guy and it's going to go into there and just nip it up it doesn't have to be super duper tight choke jet goes in the choke jet hole don't forget the main jet okay this is like a little shroud for the main jet and it goes with those like that okay you don't don't put it that way it's backwards okay next up new gasket nice clean uh, fuel bowl place the four Phillips screws in okay so the next step is well we're just finishing off the carburetor now screw that guy back on your one might be already still on just do it up by hand now it has got a little small tab inside there which corresponds with the, the slot there on the slide so you can't get it in wrong it just goes with the cutout to the front okay don't forget that the cutout here it must go to the front of the carburetor can't get that wrong also too we've got to install the new gasket here for this guy just put him on like that threads there, a couple of threads there should hold it, also too it's offset to the back okay it doesn't go that way on the carburetor you've got to have it around with the throttle cable elbow to the back of the carburetor okay, just push the spring down Okay, hold it with your, your finger, get your Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so that uh, concludes today's video on the Delorto carburetor for the Vortex Mini Rock Engine. If you would like to subscribe to our channel, please do add your questions to the comment sections below. Check out our Facebook and Instagram, at Power Republic. Also too, check out the website, www.powerrepublic.com.au. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.